Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. So, oh, one moment. So can everybody see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay, beautiful. So, um, and one moment. I think I also need to um, move, stop. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll have to do it like this. Otherwise I can't use uh, my mouse anymore. Um, sorry. Okay. The healing powers of water. That's that's what we're going to talk about. And first, I'll start with the story uh, and all the content I have gathered around why water is so healing. And then I'll start to do a connection. You've, you've read about me on the introduction John gave, but it all starts to make more sense then if you see what I've been doing and how this has all unfolded uh, very recently, uh, actually, to me. Um, so yeah, let's let's just dive in. Have you ever wondered when you shower or when you have a swim, why you feel so energized afterwards? Just answer that question for yourself. And we don't have a lot of time, but I would love to hear some answers. So so just put them in the chat so I can read them back later. But I I wonder if you have wondered if you know why this is the case. Because it's not only because we feel the treacle of water on our uh, on our uh, skin. There's a whole lot more going on. But that's what I'm going to explain. Because if you would be able to put on a different lens on what nature really looks like, really looks like, it would look like this. This is what you would see. You would see energy everywhere, all around you. It's beautiful. And... Um, but most often we're not aware of it. We know that when we go walking in the forests and uh, that we relax and that we feel better, that we uh, that our mind quiets, that we can connect more to nature. Well, this is why, and the same is the case for water. But we're even less aware of that because less people swim um, and there's less knowledge around it. So what is water? This is water. It's two molecules, mo molecules of hydrogen, one molecule of oxygen. But there's something else added, and that is energy. But that is what we cannot see, but it's there. It's not a chemical substance, energy, vibration. Okay? But water absorbs energy from various places, from the sun and from the moon. That's where it gets its reviving energy from. But it also, and that's that's nowadays, uh, it, it absorbs energy from other places and, and other energies and vibrations. Satellite, uh, satellite communication, cell phones, air pollution, uh, nuclear radiation, radars, chemicals, all of that vibration, not chemicals, Vibration is stored in water. Pollution, yeah, and that and chemical uh, pollution, yeah, that is that's in water. But you cannot see the the pollution of cell phone radiation or satellite communication, but it's there. So, what does regular water look like? Regular water looks like the left. You see the molecules. They're, they're moving and moving and vibrating and vibrating and on and on and on and they're interacting and, and shooting energy towards each other, but they are in a chaotic state. It's not coherent. And when you look at the right, you see all the molecules are aligned. They're all in a similar state. They're all nice and quiet. That's coherence. It's coherence water. And everything in nature is looking for coherence, for the coherent state. Besides the fact that we have pollution, this is another thing that is going on, on an energetic level with nature. Um, so our body also wants to be in a coherent state, but as you know, all know, uh, we consist 70% of water, but then there's also a lot of other molecules that 
uh, contain parts of water. So 99% of our body is somehow water. And if all water and all nature is looking for a coherent state, so is our body. Our body can align, can connect with everything, with the field, with your higher self, with your intuition, can attract uh, and manifest when it's in coherent state. But since we're not that much in coherence anymore, it became a lot more difficult for us. So I started, and, and this is all knowledge I gained after I um, discovered that I can heal people in water. So, because this is what, what, what the story is about. So I started researching. I knew already a lot. That's how I did discover my gifts. But I also started researching a lot more. So wh which people did I know? And, and I'm pretty sure you know a few of them, maybe all of them. Masaru Emoto. He uh, he's from Japan and he studied water and he um, discovered that water has emotions. You can talk to water um, and when you water plants with that water, they grow in a different way. Many people uh, didn't believe it, so he had a hard time. He found a way of photographing how water crystallizes, what water looks like. Uh, and by the way it crystallizes, you can also see in what state the water is. Vera Austin is a lady from New Zealand. She's a water crystallographer. And I found out about her after um, I knew that I have water healing capacities. She studies water on the, the face where it's becomes liquid ice. So you have a Petri dish, you put water in there, and when it starts freezing in your freezer, there's a moment when there's a thin layer of ice on top of the water and there's still water underneath. That is the crystallizing moment um, when water becomes crystalline. And maybe you're familiar with the fact that crystals are the Earth's communication source. Well, water has a crystalline structure in itself as well, but it only shows when it freezes. And that's what she did. She, and I'll show you some remarkable results later on. It's, it's for me, it's no doubt that water has intelligence, that it communicates, that it has memory, uh, and that's what she proves. So Rudolf uh, Zantinger, um, I haven't found where he lives, but he speaks Dutch, so he probably is from my country because I think he lives in Germany, but he has no German accent. Um, he found out, uh, he researched a lot of this stuff. And the images of the coherent water, those are his. Um, so they found out how to restore water in its initial uh, way with the initial energy, initial state, how it was before it had all the energy it shouldn't have. Um, and they put that in a crystalline tube and you stir that in water and that water becomes coherent. So the molecules are coherent. They have studied uh, people who drink it and when they drink it for one month, their uh, vitality has increased and their, uh, um, I don't know the word in English, but the, the, long, the, the, the amount of years that you live had increased from one year to uh, 12 years. When they uh, drank it for three months, it even increased more. They water plants and greenhouses with it. The fruit tastes different. The fruit is coherent fruit. The vegetables are coherent vegetables. They've um, proved that in their lab. And then we probably all know Samuel Hahnemann. He was the one who uh, found out about homeopathy. Uh, you put a herb in water. Uh, you take the herb out. Well, before you stir a lot so that all the energy and the information of the herb is in the water. You stir it. You uh, remove the herb. So the herb is not there anymore. But the people still cure. 
And then they they take a few drops of the water, put it in new water, stir it again. And this is a process that they do and do and do. So there's no, it's it's not measurable anymore. Still people cure because the energy is still in the water. So this is a lot of important research foundation that people did. And I knew about homeopathy. I knew about Masaru Emoto. I knew about the next one, blue solar water. I use it since two years. When you buy a blue glass bottle, and you can all do this at home, um, it has to be glass, not plastic. So always when you drink your water, coffee, water, um, tea, drink it in a glass, not in a plastic mug or cup. But when you put a blue bottle outside, fill it with tap water, put it outside in the sunshine for at least 10 minutes, it becomes more coherent. It restores the solar energy. And because blue is the original color of water, the memory the water has around the color comes back. You can taste the difference. It tastes sweeter and it's a lot more healthy than normal tap water. So you don't need to buy expensive water filters uh, to uh, to clear clear your water. So here are some slides, uh, some research that Vera Austin has done. She does the Petri dish uh, tests. So the, the left image, now I need to put on my glasses. She put music on of sailing from Christopher Cross. This is what she found in the water that crystallized. Same, and she did lots of studies. She has a tens of thousands of these uh, images. All eyes on me. And this is what showed. London Bridge is falling down. This is what showed in the crystal. She put an egg in the in the petri dish before the water uh, before she put it in the freezer. This is what it showed. Same with her hands. Now I've just started doing this, um, and the water is very um, aware of my state of being. So. Um, when I'm I need to clear myself first, I need to be empty first. If I forget, water is not showing me anything. But I did tests with tap water and water that I have energized. And energized water uh, crystallizes in uh, in flowers, in ferns, in hexagons. Uh, the the tap water it looked all messy. Uh, my energized water looked beautiful with flowers with ferns so therefore to me it was proven that my water that i put energy in it works another thing that i knew from white water kayaking i've had a water sports center i've teached i've taught people sports on water rafting canyoning um white water kayaking i used to be a pro white water kayaking kayaker Kayaked also in Australia. Took my kayaks there and uh, and kayaked uh, in uh, in Sydney on on the white water course and uh, Tully River, I think. Um, this is what happens when lightning strikes, and that's why people always warn you not to be in water when thunder is arriving. You need to be away of the water. Also, you need to be away of the trees, but not in water because. Water carries energy for miles and miles, and it will electrocute you if you're in the water. I knew this. And then I was snorkeling in Mexico. So this is how I found out about my gift. I had been working as a tour guide in Mexico for 30 years ago, and I always took my people to Playa del Carmen on a snorkeling trip. And now I was there on a retreat, and I went back uh, to the same spot, and I was in tears because the coral was not the beautiful colors I was used to, not all the waving patterns, very little fish. It was gray to me. It was totally dead. Uh, my, uh, the, the organizer of the trip, she, she didn't say that. She said, no, 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 it's your memory. In the, in the memory, things always look more beautiful. I thought, well, I know what I saw. I know. And then I thought, oh my God, you know, if, Someone told me, Tineke, you're supposed to heal energy spots. And I thought, well, uh, water is the, is the biggest energy spot in the world. What if, I, what if I'm supposed to heal 
everything that's in water with water. And I thought, can I heal the coral? That's a question I asked myself. And all these, all this knowledge started popping up. Oh, but it carries energy. Oh, but it has memory. Um, but uh, I can talk to water. Uh, so what if I give the water my energy and I say to the water, hey, listen, you remember what it looked like 30 years ago. Can you make sure that the coral uh, comes back in the state it was, also has the memory it used to have and restore itself? Because nature has a self-restoring capacity. And I started doing that and I was talking and I was, and, and, and I was, for a while, I was unaware what was going on around me. The, the other thing, I think I mentioned that there were very few fish. And um, when I was there 30 years ago, so many flocks of fish and I was put, putting my energy in the water. I really felt it pouring out of my hands. I'm a Reiki healer. One, one of the things I, I do and I am. And um, I thought, wow, this is working. So I was talking, not not talking eh, because I was on the water, but with my mind to the to the corral and to the water. And then I became aware of all the fish that were circling around me. There were lots, like an, an enormous amount of fish. And they, they were all piled up in front of my hands like this, like, like this close, like five centimeters from my hands, wild animals finding my hands and circling around me. And I was like, oh my God, what's going on? They feel the energy, they sense it. It's un there's no doubt. I was overwhelmed, I was shocked. I was, I think too humbled, too overwhelmed. And I, 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 I got fear and I thought, no, 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 I can't do this. I need to stop, I need to stop. So I swam away and then I talked to myself like, hey, come on, is this who you are? And is this who you want to be? And, you know, you're always this fierce, fearless woman. But this was something else. And I started to debate with myself and then curiosity won. And I said, let's do it again. And I tried it a couple of times and every time the same happened. Fish started. They were not there. I swam to empty spots. And when I started giving my energy, I was surrounded by fish. And then I started researching water. I thought, oh my God, can I heal people? And it was a question I asked. I do a lot of communication with my infinite being. So I know I'll get the answers in some way or form at some time. Not immediately. It, the download comes immediately. But, you know, I, I, I don't speak the same language as the downloads. So it needs to integrate in my body. And um, I was in a sauna with a friend and we were sitting in a, in a pool with 10 other people. And all of a sudden, my energy started pouring out of my hands. And then I knew someone in here needs it. So yes, I can cure people. That was the proof. Um, so this is what I started doing. He healing people of blockages, healing them of this comfort the dis-ease because that's what a disease is it's a dis-ease situation of your body you are not sick it's not your identity there's a dis-ease in the body that's a different thing um removing stress bringing it back in coherent state and i start to energize water so what i did is i bought a little whirlpool put it outside in my garden over Christmas. And, and I started inviting people, paying them for a water healing session. They paid me, sorry, uh, for a water healing session and a business consulting session, because that's what I've been doing the past 15 years. I've been consulting business women, helping them scale and grow their business. It's very masculine way of what I was doing, but it's needed because there's a whole other topic, but the for the feminine woman, it's difficult to become successful in, in business if you have no masculine skills. Um, and that's that's what I was doing. So here's a it's 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 in the dark, but here's a, an ex cancer patient. Uh, mm -hmm. She's in the pool. She had her last chemo, and well. X, you know, after five years, but she had her last chemo for now. 
and she was her body was worn out her her mind was stressed her mind was full and she and i asked her what do you want to leave behind and she said i want to leave behind that my mind will be empty and i said well where do you want to grow to what do you want to embrace and she had a lot of new business ideas so we went in the water i started giving my energy she started falling asleep uh, and i wasn't aware that that she had difficulties falling asleep um and i just let her and uh, and she she slept for half an hour and afterwards she said man i haven't felt this relaxed in more than one and a half year i called her two days or three days before i left for bali and she said she still feels relaxed and what coherent water does it harmonizes the communication between the left and the right brain it makes it coherent well here's my little pool you see it in the background in uh, in bali it's very small I already tested it this morning. I can put my energy in the water. I'm going to invite people over here to do private water healing sessions. And I uh, energize water. This is for the client uh, who, uh, who you see in the picture. And I tune into her infinite being. I connect with my infinite being and then through her. And she needed miracles, relaxation and energy. I put my hands in a bowl of water, which is in glass. Uh, I leave it there for 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I feel how long it's needed. And I send it to her. She puts one drop of the water. It's like homeopathy. One drop of the water in the water she uses. And the water she uses, drinks, puts, cooks. It goes in the bath, changes in energy. So this is what I do now in combination with a lot of other stuff. So how did I, how, how has water played a role in my life? I think I already told you a bit. I'm a professional, was a professional whitewater kayaker. I um, was, a, I'm a, was a national champion. I competed at world level. One of the reasons I went to Sydney was to train there. Um, I've had my own water sports business where around whitewater kayaking. And we started doing a lot of other activities as well, mountain biking, hiking, and, and survival and all. But the most important thing was the water sports. I am a long distance swimmer. I train many times a week. I train in pools. I train outside in the oceans. This is last year in Morocco. I, need to wear, I needed to wear a suit because it was cold. Where's my next slide? It's not working. Okay, let me see what the next slide is. Yeah. I am a speaker. I've had my own businesses for more than three or five years. Um, I'm a business consultant. I'm a Reiki energy healer. Until now, I never used it a lot in my business uh, consulting skills. I always kept it separate, separate to heal me or my children or my family or my friends. But I was having the ideas uh, that other people didn't have. So I was connected. I'm a water healer, author of two books. And I harmonize, another thing that I do, harmonize within people the masculine and feminine energies. So water has always been my joy, my pleasure, my way of living, my way of income for many years. And now I am a water healer. Water is back in my life and I am so grateful, so grateful for it. And if you want to know more about it, I'm hosting a retreat here in Bali. It's March, March uh, 3rd to 8th. We will be doing water healing sessions every morning near um, near our private villa, which I rent. But we'll also do Reiki healing sessions. We'll have massage therapists in the house. I'll do business consulting masterminds with you. We'll go out in nature to waterfalls where we also do water healing sessions. Um, I do private one-on-one -on -one business consulting sessions with you. We'll do um, meditations so it's a six day immersive transformation where 
our aim is, or my aim is, to put your body as much in a coherent state as possible. Because from that position, if you get ideas and then start to take action, which is masculine, it comes from the feminine. It comes from who you truly are. It's not polluted with anything, not with cultural habits, not with beliefs, not with upbringing things that are not you, yours, not of all the negative things that you've been proven over and over and over again to be right, even though you don't want them in your life. That's that's the goal of the retreat. Um, so you're you're very welcome to reach out to me. Here, uh, if you scan the QR code, uh, you'll find all my details, my LinkedIn, my website. This is pretty new, what I do, but I've already had results, so I'm confident to um, to share it with the world now. Um, I used to have a travel agency, so I know if I rent a villa somewhere, I uh, I, I can I already have my travel uh, agent here. I already uh, found a massage therapist. I'm only here for two days, so you know when when you work in tourism, you know how to create business uh, travel. So everything is back, and this is I stop sharing. Um, and I don't know if there's time for questions, and I hope the background no noise didn't disturb too much. So thank was, you all for listening, yeah. and I hope you really enjoyed it. Thank you so much, uh, Tamika. That was, that was amazing, amazing. We have just time for one or two quick questions and then we're going to go to a breakout room. So uh, just one or two and then we've, we've got to keep moving, yeah? Yeah. But that was fantastic, Tamika. Thank you so much. Uh, Nikki, you've got a question. Yes, it's more of an observation. Thank you. That was absolutely fabulous. It really, really was. Um, and... Um, it actually makes so much sense 